hey guys welcome back to my channel and today we're going on a plant haul to ikea as you saw like my shelves in the kitchen like that little shelving unit it can't hold those plants anymore so today bay day bay and i are going to ikea i'm so excited here in new york city it is 50 degrees and that's like a blessing because it's been like 14 which really sucked and yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit ZZ plants which I already have and then they have this little guy here they like killed all of their cactus by putting them all on top of each other makes me sad um and then they have some of some aloe up here and then they have some of these guys Chrysula which are really pretty we're getting another cactus from these guys right here. one of those. And like everything else is pretty good. I don't know. All of these are pretty dead too. So. Of course, I'm at Home Depot and I see this beauty. She's so pretty. Love her so much. And we got some. It's like a very small apartment at this Home Depot. big plant but these guys are like really big and they don't look well taken care of so I'm not gonna get them. They have some I want one of these sans area but I want a very small one. This guy is huge. Hi guys welcome back to my channel and today we are gonna take a look at my new plant stand. It is glorious. I have how many shelves? One, two, three, four, five. I got this guy at Ikea. Um, I'll leave the the name and the info of, of it down below, um, just in case you wanna check it out, in case you wanna buy it. It was super quick to assemble, love that. Um, the box wasn't that heavy, cause you know, sometimes our boxes are really heavy. Um, this, the wood here is bamboo, I believe. And then this guy, these shelves are all metal, which is nice because they're easy to clean. Um, and yeah, I have five shelves now. I'm gonna give you guys a tour of all of it. And yeah, let's get this party started. All right, guys. So this is what the top looks like. 
I just got this Marble Queen yesterday from Home Depot. She is beautiful. She is luscious. The next one, we got that guy, Cactus, from Ikea yesterday. And then these two guys on the end are both Ivy's. And I just got those from my local supermarket. And I'm going to take you shelf by shelf. And let's dig in. Take a look at these guys. Oh, isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. And then look at this one. I have to repot him. And I do have gloves. So we're going to do that tonight. And then these guys. I had to get both of them because they're just like different variation. Like this one has the light green with the little like yellow tips. And then this guy is just all green. So freaking pretty. And then on this shelf, I have my succulents that this guy is not doing so well because I water these guys not too long ago. And I think he just got too much water. He got really saturated. Um, my little rosies here, these guys are doing pretty good still. Thank God. These are all my Chicago plants. This is a panda, panda paw, I believe. And then I have these little guys. I think that's an echeveria. I have a jade plant in here. I have some string of buttons. Um, and I have this guy. I always forget his name. I feel like he's a San Severia of some sort. Um, and then, of course, these little guys. They're my favorite, but they haven't been doing so well. I do have some new growth happening over here. These are Burroughs tails or donkey tails. Uh, we do have some little babies sprouting. And then, oh, we have this guy in the back here. Super cute. I got that one from Ikea as well. And then this guy, Fatonia. Oh my God. Also known as a nerve plant. This guy, I got to show you guys. I'm going to put in a clip of what happened to her last night and then like how she came back alive today. It is phenomenal. Um, this little lantern thing I just got at Ikea. I think it was like 10 bucks. They have it now. So if you like it, go grab it. It is also dimmable, which is nice. So it goes like really bright and then it goes down to about, I'm going to leave it right there where it was. All right. Now for the second shelf, I have my Hoya heart, which is this guy, Hoya heart carry. And this is a new leaf here. They're so pretty. I love these leaves. So gorgeous. Love it. Uh, this I got from the plant Chica. I will go ahead and leave her Etsy shop down below. Um, this guy we got at I where did we get him? Not IKEA. We got him at Home Depot. He's doing pretty good. Here on top. Some more kind of succulent echeverias of some sort. This one is a Sansevieria. Just picked him up from Ikea. Got a lot of new growth. I gotta like repot him as well. Um, and then this one I call green jelly bean. I don't know what it's really called. Some sort of succulent. Super cute. And now to the third, fourth shelf. Um, I have my aloes here. Love these guys. They were two for six at the supermarket near me and they came with the pots. Love that. Um, and then over here I have my jade plant. That's another piece of the jade plant. I have some more donkey tails from Chicago. And then we have my cactus. Love this little guy. He's so cute. And then I got this watering can from Ikea as well. And then I have some like little tools here. I got this water bottle from this little spray bottle from Ikea. And then these little tools, they're like little kid tools, but I'm gonna get some real ones. I just got these for now. Um, this little basket also, I love this little basket. It's so cute. I think it was like 12 bucks, Ikea as well. Um, this is from Amazon. Uh, my sister-in-law, if you're not watching her videos, she is My Clean Leaves on YouTube and on uh, Instagram. 
she put me onto this from Amazon and I love it because it lets you know moist, light, or the pH and you set it on whichever one you're trying to look for and you know if your plants are getting enough water or not. And then I got these cute little gloves from Ikea as well. Super cute. Someone came to keep me company. Roscoe! Hi, hey, Papas! What are you doing? <laughs> He's sitting in the plastic, you silly. Roscoe, don't be fat. Roscoe! <laughs> Look at the phone! Roscoe! I think you had some dynamic players.